welcome to another weekly vlog reading vlog i have had a very chill day it's wednesday by the way i didn't talk to you on monday or tuesday i'm not gonna lie the end of november just kind of like swam past me and that's that that's okay you know uh i've just been editing right now but i did actually pick up a book so i wanted to talk a little bit about that i feel like very yellow i may or may not be you know you know but this was an unplanned book <laughs> an unplanned picking up book and i'm just gonna let myself do it because i kind of felt like it and you know why not why not <laughs> I don't know. I didn't end up picking up From Blood and Ash last week like I thought I would. Or not From Blood and Ash, sorry. Kingdom of Flesh and Fire. I- oh my goodness. Why is the white balance so weird? I don't know. But I didn't end up picking Kingdom of Flesh and Fire last week like I thought I would. I just didn't feel like it. I listened to more of the audiobook that I'd been listening to, but today when I went to go pick it up, you are a badass. It had already been returned. I didn't even realize that I'd been reaching the end of my rental date. So yeah, when I didn't know what else to read, I kind of was thinking about Air of Fire. I don't, I don't know why. I don't need to explain myself. There's not really a good reason. No, I probably won't read the next book or any of the previous books. I just feel like reading Air of Fire. So that's what I'm doing. Uh, I got to page 206 today and I had to go on a hunt for a bookmark because as you guys know, I normally don't read in the dust jacket. So we'll be taking that off. And I needed a bookmark because I'm not really annotating because everything's been annotated. I've actually been fixing my stickies as I go along to make them more even, <laughs> less ragged. I'm pretty sure this is the book, the first book I ever annotated. So yeah. And I realized that I didn't have like any throne of glass bookmarks none there's none there's no wood marks that i could find that i had that were throne of glass no metal bookmarks none of my cute little ones that are in another mug uh but i did find this one which this is one that actually a subscriber one of you made me a while ago and it's so cool because it's like the whole stack and it's just so cute and it's obviously more special because someone made it yeah i'm glad i found that so I have something to mark my pages and that's kind of been it. I made some food, hung out with my cats, read, edited. That's really it. That's all I've done. Uh, yesterday I had work, which is one of the reasons why I didn't talk to you and I just didn't feel like doing anything after work. So I didn't. And then Monday I wasn't really feeling well. Not because I was sick. I uh, may or may not have drank a little bit too much on Sunday. One of my coworkers was having a going away party. Party. That's a strong word for it. <laughs> but one of my coworkers is leaving and they had a few of us over and I, I might have drank in. Well, it's not so much that I drank too much because drinking too much, that happens. You know what I mean? The problem is that I just hadn't eaten on Sunday because I worked all day and I was distracted and I just... For forgot that's not a good excuse always eat i just no excuse there's really no excuse so i didn't feel well on monday because you know any amount of drink on an empty stomach makes you feel terrible so yeah didn't start the vlog there trust me but yeah this is why i don't drink i really don't i very rarely drink and every single time i do i remember that i am a naturally dehydrated person and will normally feel hungover yeah well so i am going to i think eat some of the potatoes that i made earlier and read a little bit more of air of fire i might take you with me i don't know and that's that i do have more editing to be done i still need to edit all of last week's vlogs since obviously yesterday and the day before i didn't so i want to get that up I'm not entirely sure if I'm gonna do a TBR for this month. I might, but I'm not feeling festive currently. My my mom's Christmas decorations are trapped behind like my boxes of stuff that we do have in her garage. So we haven't really decorated at all. Also like her house has been mildly a mess because of my stuff. <laughs> because there's just like boxes everywhere because you know, I just, I knew I was eventually gonna move, so we were unpacking it, and that's, that's that. So we haven't really been decorating, and I do have to start packing things back up. Like, anything that I did unpack, I have to start packing back up, because we should be moving at the end of this month. But because of all that, I'm just, like, more excited about the move than Christmas, and I don't have money for Christmas, because moving. So I don't know if I'm gonna do a TBR. I just don't. 
I'm hungry. I will talk to you later. I finished air fire <laughs> um, in one day. That's pretty impressive. But to be fair, I skipped a, a few of Kale's parts. He has some parts in this one, like I skipped them. But it was good, it was great. That's really all I have to say. I think I actually might read Queen of Shadows now. I don't know. And I restuck in the stickies and look how much neater they look. Yeah. And Adam and I watched the newest episode of Hawkeye, so. It's good. This third episode was a little odd. Pretty chaotic. Kind of funny. But I liked it. And now I'm going to bed and potentially reading Queen of Shadows. Potentially. It's too dark. Well, oh well. Today has been so chill. So chill. I got up pretty late today because I stayed up pretty late last night reading. As you know, I finished Air of Fire and I couldn't go to sleep so I was like might as well just start Queen of Shadows. And I got to page, mm, where is it? Oh, here. 440, well 430, 438. Look, look at the tabs, they're getting so much neater. They were really, really messy in Queen of Shadows. I wish I'd shown you. But yeah, I'm having so much fun with my rereads, guys. Yeah, I was just actually going through some of my comments for my vlogs this month and or last month, I guess, and I hadn't realized that I hadn't been responding to any of them, so I'm glad I finally looked through. And I did get a question that was kind of along the lines of how my physical reading's going, how, like, if I have any recommendations for getting back into physically reading. Oh, let me fix my hair because it looks a little messy. If I have any recommendations for getting back into physically reading, and I will be quite honest, right now, I am letting myself reread books. It sounds so dumb but reading slumps are phases that I have gone through my entire life. I've always had times in my life where I just stop reading and it tends to be for one or two years and then I'll randomly pick up a book, maybe one that I've already read, and then I just can't put books back down. With booktube it's kind of interrupted my regular flow of how I read because obviously I can't really take a full two-year break from reading when my content and its channel, when my content and its channel, when my channel and its content is about reading books and because of that I'm sure you guys could tell I was enjoying, I wasn't enjoying reading as much as I used to. As much as I love books I wasn't enjoying the process of it and my best recommendation is to kind of let yourself do it. I couldn't, I couldn't let myself go through my phase because of my content. But I always go back to reading. I know in my heart I always go back to reading and now I think that like with a year and a half or so, maybe even two years of just like not fully letting myself enjoy books and reading whatever I want to read, it doesn't have to be quality, it doesn't have to be new, it doesn't have to be consistent, none of it. I am letting, I'm letting my inner reader out. She wants to reread books, she wants to be able to skip the chapters she doesn't like in the books that she's rereading because guess what guys? I'm talking about myself in the third person, that's weird. I have skipped most of the kale chapters again. I'm not a kale hater but I'm kind of a kale hater. Kale hater. And that's okay. I, I was putting so much pressure on reading and reading whatever came out and whatever was new and what everyone else was reading and reading things that I thought I should be reading and that's all well and good if you're in the mood for it. <laughs> I wasn't in the mood for it. So now I'm just reading what I'm in the mood for which happens to be smutty fantasy. I guess that's the the one thing they have in common. And even though I do want to pick up something new, because I've been looking at Jade City and Empire of the Vampire and Starless Sea, I don't want to pick those up without having fully let myself read the parts that I want to reread and the books that I want to reread. So I'm going to be honest, if I finish Empire, Empire, if I finish Queen of Shadows today, I might pick up Empire of Storms and read up to the beach scene, if you know, you know. And that's okay, that's fine. That's my recommendation. Just, if you don't wanna read, don't read. Just don't do it. If you wanna read, read. If you wanna reread, reread. And that's my recommendation for booktubers too. I think it's harder when your channel is about reading books to let yourself do this because obviously as a subscriber, as a viewer, you don't want to watch me reread all the books that I've already read and you want to see me reading books that you're excited about that are just coming out and I think that's 
fair, but it's no fun to watch me read those if I'm not fully enjoying them. And that's something that I've had to come to terms with <laughs> this year, is just doing things more for enjoyment and less for, I guess, views is like one way to put it. That's the only way I can think of putting it. Like, I don't know. Maybe that's silly. I don't think it is. Who knows? I think letting myself do this kind of stuff is only going to improve my content in the long run. In the current run, sure. Yeah, my content might suffer a little bit, but when I get really back into reading and then I start reading all the things that are coming out and all the things that I'm excited about, I'm actually going to be excited about them. Who knows? I also think that I'm just kind of rethinking some things for my channel for this new year. Uh, not a huge shift. I'm not like gonna upheave I'm not gonna change everything all at once, nor do I want to. I just think that I've done the same kind of content and the same kind of stuff for a few years now, and that's fine. But I'm kind of bored with it, you know? And I think that you guys are bored with it too. I mean, there's always gonna be comments of people being like, I miss the old stuff, and can you do this again, and can you do that again? That's, I, I get it, I get it, because I am also a viewer of people that I'm like, please just do the old things again. But changing is fun, and I get bored quite easily, so. This was a strange update. Sorry about that. Uh, what was I saying? Not much, really, in all honesty. I gave you my reading update. I did, I did want to film today, originally. I'm not obviously ready for filming. I don't know. I was, um, looking at, like, the stuff that I wanted to get up for this month because there are a few videos that I'm actually pretty excited about. Weirdly enough, two of them have to do with TikTok. Not like the stuff that I'd been doing. There's just two ideas that I've been kind of wanting to do for a while. So, I don't know. If you hate TikTok, you'll maybe hate those videos. And, uh, I don't know if I want to do, like, end of the year kind of content, like, all the books that I read, or if I want to save that for January. I'm not positive. I also move this month, guys. I move this month. More than likely. Knock on wood. Let's knock on wood. I don't want to jinx anything. But, I don't know. We're just going with the flow. What I have noticed, and what I really like, is that the comments that I have been getting, so many of you have noticed a change in just the way that I've been vlogging and the way that I've been talking and saying that you love how relaxed it feels, how I feel relaxed, how chill everything seems, and I appreciate it because I feel that way. I feel, <laughs> I feel relaxed. I feel more myself, I guess, less wound up. I don't know. I get in my head a lot. I think, you know, everyone has a moment where they're just really stuck in their minds and there's always going to be a lot to do, but things just kind of work themselves out, you know? Like, if it's meant to be, it's going to happen. If it's not meant to be, you can force it to happen, but that won't be fun. And I think that finally kind of coming to terms with that has just been heavenly, you know? And I think you guys have noticed and appreciate it too, so I like that. And I like that you guys can just put my videos on in the background and hang out. I... <laughs> This is a strange update. I used to think that my reading vlogs had to be strictly reading and that we had to do a lot of reading updates and reading content and I had to be finishing a lot of books and doing a lot of things and getting a lot done, but I've realized that the kinds of vlogs that I love to watch are the ones that I can put on in the background. Like, yes, things are happening, but when I turn to it after realizing I was distracted for five minutes, I can be like, oh, cool, that's great. And that's the kind of vlogs that I want to make now is just more of like, put this on in the background. I get it. I do it all the time. I clean with vlogs on. I wake up and kind of put on a vlog to start getting ready. I don't pay my full attention to a vlog. They're 30 minutes long, you know? So that's the kind of vlog I want to make and I'm glad that some of you enjoy it. It's fun. I'm like a chaotic, I'm a, I'm a chill chaos. I'm a, I'm a calm chaos. A juxtaposition of chaos and calm. And I like it. <laughs> <laughs> this was a strange update, I'm not gonna lie. And the lighting is atrocious and my hair doesn't know what it's doing. It has no idea. I'm getting it dyed probably maybe again this month. My hairdresser is coming into town. She doesn't actually live here, which is why I go so long without getting it done. But I love her so much, so I wait. And she's supposed to be coming in at the end of the month, like very end of the month. And I will hopefully be getting an update to the blonde and uh... I should probably get a haircut in general because it's looking, you know. All right, this was this was fun. This was cute. It was 11 minutes. Oh my gosh. I'm going to leave you, and I think that I need to edit tonight 
my blog from last week. I was actually gonna combine those two, like this week's and last week's, but after thinking about it some more, that would be a really long vlog, so I'm not doing it. And I need to get it edited then and, and uploaded, hopefully by Saturday. Hopefully, Brittany, you did it. If not, I get it. And I need to also still film my fairy loot and crate. I am so close to falling behind again, and I don't love it. But I probably will do that tomorrow when I actually want to get ready. Because right now it's 6 p.m., and I just don't feel like putting on makeup just for the last bit of my day. I don't, my hair is chaotic. Mm, that's that. I also, this month is going to be a little strange because I do need to start packing things up. And I do want to get, because I know you guys probably want it. Um, a bookshelf tour up before I move out of my mom's house. So uh, that's why I was like starting to color in this month. I use Amanda Reachley's bullet journal currently. I don't know if I'll continue with it next year, not because I don't like it, I just, I don't know. Um, and I was trying to plan out what I still needed to do, but because I'm weird, I want to color in the pages before I start planning, and that's not really helping, so, uh, yeah, there's, there's a lot to be planned, and I'll, I'll get to it later. <laughs> I'm gonna read Queen of Shadows. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna go downstairs and I'm gonna read Queen of Shadows, because, because it's Thursday, and why not? Alexa, stop. I'm on my break from lunch at work. I forgot my pasta here. I was reading. I have to go back to work. <laughs> Boo. I haven't really talked to you today. Uh, though I've had a good reading day. Okay, I just tried doing this update, bear with me. I'm filming on the back of my phone, the back cameras of my phone, because my vlogging camera ran out of storage and I haven't felt like going back upstairs to uh, get a different memory card. So everything's kind of, I don't, I can't see myself. I don't know if this is gonna look good. The last one didn't, so that's why I'm trying to refilm it. But today, I'm filming from the front camera because apparently I cannot be trusted. That second clip I refilmed, I filmed it. 
<laughs> like I activated the front camera as I turned it around. I'm not doing another update. I'm just not, this is, that's that. Okay, um, I don't know if I'll leave that in. Just know I talked a lot <laughs> and I work tomorrow on Sunday. So hopefully I'll have another moment to do this because right now I'm, I'm just not. I'm, okay, just quick. I'm just reading Empire of Storms. I finished Queen of Shadows. I don't know what I'm gonna read next. I work tomorrow on Sunday. I did edit today. I made spaghetti. That's literally what the update is, so. <sighs> I probably look like I've been crying and that might be because I have been. Maybe. I am gonna read Kingdom of Ash, okay? I'm gonna do it because you know what? <sighs> Empire of Storms. I finished it, by the way, Sunday. Hi. Finished Queenie Shadows too. I don't know if I talked about that. That was great. Empire of Storms? What the hell, guys? First of all, my annotations actually were pretty good in this one. This like last book, I'm like, ah, oh, you did you did a pretty good job. I missed some things because now I have Crescent City to compare things to. Sarah J. Mass is creating like a mega universe. I swear. That's not the right word. What is it? A multiverse? A multiverse. I just forgot how much Empire of Storms broke me originally like the first time i ever read it empire of storms hurt i remember it hurt because when i finished it i was leaving my abnormal psychology class and i was walking out and i was trying to explain why i was so sad to adam i wasn't crying yet and i remember being like and i have to wait a whole year until the last book comes out exact words and i was already upset about that because you know i read this as it came out and then he looked at me and he was like what if it takes two years? And something about that really hit, and maybe it was just my subconscious letting me know that it really was gonna take two years and to just cry about it then, because I started crying. And uh, I hope you felt bad, because that was mean. And it took two years, because Tower of Dawn came out after that, and that wasn't, you know, originally, I think, in the plans. This book is destroyed, by the way. Like, it's, it looks, <laughs> she's not okay. Neither am I. The second time I read it, I think I was just kind of like going, I was, I loved it, but I was just getting through it because of Kingdom of Ash. And this time I'm just, I just know what happened in Kingdom of Ash. This is the first time I've read this knowing how it ends. And that kills me. Like the thing that I cried at today, it's not something that happens in this. Like, no, what happened, why I cried is because of what happens in Kingdom of Ash. And like reading the end of this just, if you watch my Kingdom of Ash vlog, first of all, oh my god, I just tried to rewatch it with Adam and that intro, wow, I was just a lot of energy. If you watch that, you know what scene I cried in in Kingdom of Ash. You know what scene I cried in in that and that is what made me cry today in this because it's just so freaking unfair. I'm not really giving good descriptions, obviously, of the books. I've read these so many times. I don't know if you're very interested in hearing me describe the books. I obviously am giving them five stars. I had kind of forgotten how much I loved Throne of Glass, the original, the OG Sarah J. Mass series, because she's gotten definitely better as a writer. That's fair. But like the character dynamics, I think she just got so right in Kingdom or in Throne of Glass. They're the blueprint. They're literally the blueprint for the rest of her books. And I can totally see why people might like compare and contrast them or say she's a bad writer because of that and that's totally fine guys listen I just she just something about her writing sings to my soul I love it it just it's just just fits for me doesn't have to fit for you but like it really does oh Mika and I found out Mika from Mika August that her Sarah J Mass's big three so her rising sign, her moon sign, and her sun sign are the exact same as Mika's. And Mika and I have like 100% compatibility in CoStar, which is weird. Like we, all of our signs actually like perfectly go together. And so therefore, obviously Sarah J Mass and Mika would relate. And me, by the associative property, I therefore understand too. And now everything makes more sense to me. So, you know, literally written in the stars. Oh, I just remembered that my tattoos read all the stars. Every time I read that in the book, I was like, and originally when I first got my tattoo, I wanted to add the stag of the north. I'm, gonna, I'm literally gonna, I'm just, I'm, I'm a mess right now. I'm just tired, I think, but I wanted to add the stag of the north under it, like in some way. 
and originally I was like, oh, I guess it's good that I didn't because it might not even be my favorite series of hers. But guys, I think this is my favorite series of hers. I don't know. It's just like Avatar is good, but like this is just, I love Manon. I love Manon. I love Manon so much that I hope and pray and beg that one day we'll have something of what happens to Manon. I'll leave it at that, but she's my favorite. Then I shouldn't get the Stag of the North, I should get a Braxis. <laughs> oh, I'm having a moment. This vlog might be a mess. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't edit the rest of the video today when I got home from work. I wanted to finish the book, and I did. And I'm gonna edit tomorrow, because I know Kingdom of Ash is one of those that I don't technically want to read, so it might take me a while to get through, and I'll edit then. And editing after work is not fun, because I already worked, you know? So, thanks for listening to my rant, my mental breakdown. Girl talk, I don't know. <laughs> I, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna leave it at that. I'm gonna just leave it at that. Also, Adam said he liked the name Abraxas. I think I'm gonna wear him down for it. I've always wanted it. I just thought he thought it would be weird, you know? Okay, well, that's it for this vlog. I'm glad I gave you a last update. I'm sorry I look like a mess. I don't even know if there's like tear tracks down my face because I was crying. <laughs> I was trying to explain it to Adam too and all I could think of was that TikTok. Uh, if I can find it, I'll post it right here. It's the peasant who I saw leaving the city who disappeared into the crowd with Cusco in the back of his cart. <gasps> he must have taken him back to his village, so if we find the village, we find him, and if we find him, we find Cusco. Oh yeah, it's all coming together. Book, but you need to tell your boyfriend and he doesn't understand anything you're saying, or something along those lines, that's how I just felt. So, I told you guys now friends together. Also, look how neat and pretty my tabbies look now. And look, look. Ah, so fun. So fun. I'm gonna go. I read, what did I read this week? Did I read four books? No. Three. I read three books. I read Air of Fire. I read Queen of Shadows and Empire of Storms. Whew. And I had a great time. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go. Because I told Adam I would, you know, be responsible and do stuff. I don't know. Maybe I will, maybe I won't.